there's a Kingdom Hearts secret boss fight that no one talks about. And we're going to explore how to unlock it and what makes it so special. In general, Kingdom Hearts secret bosses are usually the apex challenges of their respective games. Booting up Kingdom Hearts 1 and facing off against Sephiroth for the first time was truly a frightening experience. Those who know about Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix and The Lingering Will already know how much of a challenge that fight was. And let's not even get started on Yozora from Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. Typically, these secret bosses are the true final challenges of their games, featuring tons of HP, damage, and moves that will surely punish inexperienced players. These battles really showed you who's just wielding the Keyblade or using it as a master. Speaking from my own personal experience is often where these fights would have taken me several hours, where only in the beginning I felt helpless because of how quickly I would die. But after tons of patience and learning the fight, we begin to climb our way out of the trenches. These secret bosses are usually behind tons of other difficult content to get through as well, but the ones I'm talking about in this video take it to an entirely different level. Now, I've been a Kingdom Hearts fan for my entire life, if that wasn't obvious enough, but the secret boss I'm mentioning in this video is one that I actually never faced off against. I only heard of it when I went through the grapevine, but I've never actually experienced this fight myself. Because when I went into looking what was actually required to unlock this fight, I can understand how most Kingdom Hearts fans might also relate to this experience, and might not even know that this fight is even in the game. I'm making this video to bring the entire situation to the light. Because truly, I can only find a handful of videos surrounding this boss. But those videos don't get into the process of getting into everything needed to reach it. Truly, after doing the research for this video, this this Kingdom Hearts secret boss might be the most difficult to unlock in the entire series. It was truly a test of my own patience, but now I'm ready to share that entire experience with you. Before I get into it though, please let me know in the comment section below. Who is your favorite Kingdom Hearts secret boss? Personally, I talk about my experience with Kingdom Hearts 2 Sephiroth all the time. I'm so nostalgic for this fight, and I always come back to it when I revisit the game. And while you're down there, please be sure to hit that like button, because doing the homework for this video was a lot of pain and suffering. But I do it because I love you, and I'm, and I'm crazy. Ugh. So there are actually two secret bosses I'm going to be mentioning in this video. I only put one in the title since it makes it sound a little bit snappier, but there are actually two secret bosses, the second of which I didn't even know existed until I started doing the research for this video. So our secret bosses reside in Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix, which is the second compilation of games in the series with a collection of two video games and one movie. Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix and Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep were fully playable with new HD graphics to go along with them. Although the one that turned into the movie, Kingdom Hearts Recoded, just kind of stayed like that. And that's how most people were able to experience the story of Kingdom Hearts Recoded. The movie was originally a game released on the Nintendo DS, which was a remake of an older phone game, but we're not gonna get into that right now. In general, Kingdom Hearts Recoded is critically received as one of the worst Kingdom Hearts games, as the story felt much lighter in comparison to the other entries, which were much more dramatic. Most people never played Kingdom Hearts Recoded on the DS. I actually went to go look up the sales numbers for Recoded, and I couldn't find anything solid. Most Kingdom Hearts games have sold at least over 1 million units, but there's no sign of Recoded's numbers anywhere. I can imagine more people just have seen the movie in the collection versus actually playing the game. And that's where these two insane secret bosses come from. Kingdom Hearts Recoded takes place inside of Jiminy Cricket's journal. As a strange message has appeared inside of the books, it is up to Mickey and friends to solve its mystery. And they do this by sending in a data Sora to do all of the dirty work, which makes up most of the gameplay of this title. You'll mostly be revisiting locations from Kingdom Hearts 1, sometimes with new gameplay additions. To get the secret boss in this game, you'll need to wait until you clear out the main story. And that means defeating Roxas as the game's final boss. Once that's over, you'll be able to return to Hollow Bastion with a bit of new content. If you head to the top of the main room here, there will be a new opening to a debug center. It is recommended that the player try to be at least level 80 before entering. In this debug sector, there are 13 floors of challenges waiting to put an end to Sora's life. It is important to mention that I am playing this on an emulator. I do own a copy of Kingdom Hearts Recoded, but recording through Melon DS was just a lot easier. And with an emulator, you're able to load up different save files and someone else uploaded one online. And I could have gone through Recoded myself, but I really didn't want to. You really did me a huge service with this one. So shout out to Larxine Simp for uploading your save file. And within this file, it was able to lead me right before the final boss. I was about level 45, which is a lot less than the level that the game recommends I'd be. But you know, I'm just so nasty at Kingdom Hearts. I thought I should have an easy time. Recoded is also a Kingdom Hearts game that allows you to change the difficulty at any time. Within the game's matrix systems, you can alter the difficulty at the flick of a switch, unlike other Kingdom Hearts games, which lock you to the difficulty you chose in the very beginning. With Melon DS, I'm able to upscale the footage so it looks a lot nicer than it would be captured on a normal DS. With all of this out of the way, it is finally time to challenge these 13 floors. And the game recommends you to be level 80. For this save, I am level 49. Will I have a bad time? Let's find out. How bad of a time? Let's also find out, because I don't know. I've never done this. This is me doing this for the first time. So... At the bottom of these 13 floors is our first secret boss. And let me tell you, these floors were a challenge in themselves. I was getting bodied. Oh my goodness! Yo, I just pulled up. Yo! Oh... I like those, those are... Oh no, what is this? 
What is that? What is that? What is that? Is he is he like the Grim Reaper from Persona? Oh my god, it definitely is! Get me out of here! Did this just hit you? Oh, oh he hit you! I have, I'm confused! I'm confused! I'm slow and confused! I gotta get out of here. Yo, are you what the, I'm dead as hell. Stop playing. Oh my god! Don't kinda guess. There's no way. We're gonna play so safe. Oh no! I'm so stressed. Like, because if I die, I lose all the progress on the floor. No! 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 I'll give it one more attempt before I'm like, all right, I'm gonna give this. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh no, 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 no. There he is. Hold on. Maybe I can fight him. Though. Please! The arena setting me up. The arena is setting me up. Oh, Sora. Abort! No! <laughs> no! You lying. Why would they put them right by the door? This is messed up. Why would they put this here? The exit. The exit! Oh, no, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I'm going, no, Sora, please. I'm probably going to have like a death montage. In this video. Oh, what kind of Satan has made this? Yo! I can't see. And then they, and then they throw six million things at you. And then they... they, 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 they Jump. Yo, this. Not the wizard. Not the wizard. Yo, the wizard cheats! The wizard cheats! We just can't hit me. What you about to do? No, no! Please! Yo! You're lying. Wizard right here has to die immediately. <laughs> Yo! Stop playing! Stop playing! Who, who made this? There! I'm out of here! <laughs> After thugging it out for several floors, what on earth was that? You make it to floor 13 where you face off against our first secret boss debugged Data Roxas. With Data Roxas being the game's final boss, the debugged version comes in with its own set of attacks and is a lot more powerful. And in normal Kingdom Hearts Secret Boss fashion, this dude has hands. He even changes throughout the fight containing multiple phases with different attacks. I was fighting for my life. There he is. Bug Data Roxas. Damn. Oh my god! Yo! What? I'm confused! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got it in. Okay, okay. Wait, he changed colors? He's yellow now? Whoa, whoa, he's faster. He is way faster. This man has phases? Huh? <laughs> no. Jesus Christ! <laughs> no! No! <gasps> I hit red! I hit red! He's mad slow. This is even this is even more frightening, I fear. He's slower. What is going on? I think that's his thing. He doesn't take hit stun. Well, why is he standing still like that? What the heck? What is happening? Uh what the hell? He's giant now! He got a blue final form? What kind of evil demonicness? It's not over? How does he still have more? He's huge too. What the heck? Damn, I, I don't know how to hit him. I 
is that? He has a bigger one? And it's faster? Hello? What is this? <gasps> but after trial and error, our victory was finally secure. Got him! Oh my god! Alright! That's a good boss. First try. <laughs> I did it. The fight was finally done. But it was at this moment that I knew that it was only just the beginning. My celebration would quickly turn into another grind fest, as debugged Data Roxas is the easier of the two secret bosses in the game, both in challenge and in the unlocking method. The second recoded secret boss is something that I'm sure 90% of Kingdom Hearts fans have never faced off against, because it is one of the longest processes out there and is almost nearly impossible to do with our modern hardware. Outside of the game story mode, there is an alternate option on the title screen called Avatar Mode. In Avatar Mode, you're able to customize your own Keyblade wielder through various costumes. Since this was originally a DS game, it used the NFC communication feature for this game mode. This is the way that the DS was able to communicate with one another without needing a wired connection. Think about all the ways you played Mario Kart DS with your friends back in the day. If you were to pass another player with a copy of Kingdom Hearts Recoded, you could receive a special balloon in the game's Tag Mode. This will feature their own avatar as well as their own special scratch-off minigame. Clearing out patterns will give Data Sora commands for his deck. But more importantly, this will add a floor to the player's avatar sector. And the avatar sector is essentially a giant debug dungeon, where the player can unlock up to 100 floors of debug content from other players. To get to the secret boss, you'll need to unlock and complete all the way down to the 100th floor. Now, let's frame this as someone who has played Kingdom Hearts Recoded on the DS. First off, Kingdom Hearts Recoded was way ahead of its time, using a Street Pass-like feature long before the 3DS was even released. Being able to exchange items with another player by passing them wasn't something many games were doing before the 3DS. And you'll have to do this a hundred times to get to the very bottom of this dungeon. Second off, you're able to create your own Keyblade wielder with tons of different costumes, and you unlock more of them as you obtain more avatar pieces from other players. Another feature that wasn't really used again until Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, where you're able to change so much about your own custom wielder. I didn't even know this mechanic was in the game before looking into this video, and I'm playing on an emulator. It's not exactly possible for me to get a DS for the game to pick up on. So what I actually had to do to make this work was run a second Melon DS emulator. With the second copy of Melon, I ran Kingdom Hearts 3 five, eight days over two and headed over to the multiplayer mode. By turning on the NFC mechanism in that game, the first copy of Melon DS running recoded was able to receive a balloon. Now on the screen, it should appear like a little bubble or a balloon or something. If I did this correctly. Yes, the science. Now, since the second copy wasn't a copy of Recoded, the game needed to create its own profile for non-Recoded users. This is when you'll get hit with tons of references to Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy. Funny enough, some of the avatars you unlocked are based on Final Fantasy 13, which are characters that have yet to appear in Kingdom Hearts in any other facet. This honestly caught me by surprise when I first saw it. <laughs> There's a chocobo with his afro. <laughs> One tough chick. We did get lightning. Oh my god, wait, time out. Is this lightning? In, this is lightning in a Kingdom Hearts game. Lightning has not showed up in a Kingdom Hearts game. This is lightning right here in the Kingdom Hearts game. To get to floor 100, I needed to close the second emulator, reopen it, and re-enable the NFC every single time. Each time I got a balloon, I also unlocked the floor to the avatar sector, which truthfully took me hours to do. It was just doing the same thing again and again, slowly watching the avatar sector build. By unlocking more floors, I also also got more Square Enix references along the way, and I just needed to keep doing this until I reached floor 100. And honestly, it was pretty smooth sailing. Mind you, while it was pretty time consuming, I should be able to get to floor 100 in no time. But then I got hit with a bit of a hiccup. It will happen to all the balloons. Now I started to panic because the balloon stopped spawning, and I was doing the same thing again and again without changing anything. But turns out this is something that the game has in mind. So all the avatars that I got in the game so far were made by Square Enix. But turns out I think I went through most of them before getting to floor 100, and the avatars that were already sent out were not being repeated. So I was a bit stuck in this moment and the panic starts to set in. I don't understand, we didn't change anything. Hmm, I think you got all the fixed avatars. Oh. No, I got used to them just appearing immediately. I didn't know how I could get more avatars to appear, but then I did a little digging. So the game more so focuses on the avatar's designs, meaning if I created a second save file on the second emulator and just changed the avatar design a little bit, it would create a new balloon, meaning a new floor of the avatar sector. I had to change the outfits for the remainder of the trip to unlock these remaining floors. And thank goodness, because I thought the run was gonna be dead forever. We got a different fit on now. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna, what's the vibe gonna be? We are back in business, ladies and gentlemen. We are back in business. We are, I don't think you understand. 
we are back in business. So I had two copies of Recoded running at the same time. The first receiving the balloons, while the second one is the one sending them over. And we did it. We were finally able to get every floor after this seemingly endless process. By the way, this just unlocked the floors. Now I had to go clear them all one by one to get through the 100th floor. Fortunately, you're able to choose the kind of floors you want to send to the other player. And for my mental health, I decided to make all the floors super breezy, making the challenges super easy to get through anytime I had to show up on them. Because I knew I had to go through 100 of them on critical mode and that was gonna be a bad time. And it was certainly a hike for the ages. I finally made it to floor 99 and immediately remembered that I set myself up for failure. For all of the floors, I chose Breezy as the floor layout. Choosing Breezy makes it so the enemy encounters are just so much easier in each floor. For the 99th floor, I decided to make things a bit more interesting by choosing a harder floor layout. I was like, you know, it's the last one before the boss. I, I gotta do it. But uh, I immediately regretted that decision. Oh boy. What's it gonna be? Okay, a red invis- What? No. 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 Was that a- that was a red invincible and a red wizard. It's over. It's over. There's... They too shot you. If you're not at full HP, you die. Get him out of here. No, not the husbands! Oh my god, I cleared the room and then the husbands cleared me. That move is nuts. The husbands, the husbands. How do I get rid of the husbands? Yo. You know what? I was getting bodied so bad that I decided to just delete the floor and re-roll it rather than getting good. Trust me, at this point in the dungeon, my brain was on fire. But we did it. We made it through 99 floors of madness. It was finally time to face the hardest unlockable secret boss in Kingdom Hearts. Debugged Data Reiko. But here he is. Let's do it. Show me. Oh, he's a skinny legend. Similar to the debug Data Roxas fight, this one has different phases with different colors. The real unfortunate thing about this fight has got to be the arena. With the Data Roxas fight, they gave you space to run around. Here, you have all these different blocks and obstacles in the way. The bounce block especially threw me off super bad. And as you would imagine, I was getting bodied. Oh. Okay. Yo, what? What is this arena? I know this is gonna be one of those hard ones. Okay, so the rule. Oh my god! Combo a little bit. I think I can do with that at Roxas. Oh, he has a yellow face. Just like Roxas. Fast as hell. No! They, you're lying. You're lying. I somehow survived. He's doing it! After a good night's sleep and a bit more grinding, I came back with new abilities to get ready for this battle. Until eventually, it's just the ability I needed, I think, you know? Oh, he's red now. No! Yo, he's jumping me, I can't see! No! He's giant, he's giant, he's giant, he's green, he's green, he's giant. No! Oh my god. Get him away. <laughs> I wanted to highlight these two bosses because like I said, I had no idea these were even here. The debug data Riku fight is something that's nearly lost to time if you don't want to put the work in. I cannot even imagine trying to do this with a legit DS when the game first came out. I would have maybe gotten a couple floors, but not nearly enough for the full 100. And I can finally add this to my accomplishments as a Kingdom Hearts player. And I can finally put Recoded to rest. Overall, I actually really like the combat in this game. The command deck is done to near perfection with how Sora controls, and there's tons of post-game content if you really want to try and get Get everything but i did it so you don't have to these are the kingdom hearts secret boss fights that no one talks about have you guys actually faced off against debug data riku or debug data roxas i'd love to know your stories and let me know if there are any other kingdom hearts secret bosses you want me to take a look at there is one in days that i just kind of want to take a gander at but that won't be for a while i need a little ds break <laughs> thank you all so much for watching please be sure to comment like subscribe and stay awesome